Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are back with our Sims and Bloom Legacy Challenge and we are getting really, really, really close to finishing up with Daisy's Generation. I played through a few days because we had a week of nothing going on and we reached level 10 in both the fishing and the wellness skills. So we have officially checked off all the skills we have to do. We have five, um, we have more than five perfect plants in our garden. Um, we have reached level 10 of our fishing career. Um, I'm just looking up the challenge rules just so I can see what we need to finish. Yeah, so we've lived in a lot with the simple living challenge. Uh, we have a cow plant that we've had to regrow three times. Um, grow five perfect plants, which we've done. Mary Sim, who has the Loves Outdoor treat, which we did. Um, gain the outdoorsy lifestyle and grow a death flower um the only thing we have left to do is finish our aspiration we just need to graft onto one more plant we're in the process of growing a death flower i'm just waiting for this one to give us pomegranates and then we put the pomegranate on the orchid plant i believe i think that's how we do it i'm pretty sure um yeah let's i think we take a cutting of this one and put it onto the orchid plant um so we have a few things coming up so today is actually tanner's birthday he's going to be aging up into a elder today and then we have three birthdays in a row i think we're just gonna celebrate all three on one day rather than doing three separate birthday parties because that's super tedious and then little miss ivy ages up into a young adult next tuesday and i have gone ahead and um, I downloaded a like small vet clinic off the gallery um, and I furnished it and it's all green. It's super cute. I love it so much. It's about 40,000 simoleons. Um, I also figured that we may take her down the route of having a um, an apartment for a while because she's going to be super into gaming and I, I feel like I just get the vibe that she would live in the city for that. Um, okay, so let's can't graft onto it yet, but I will be able to soon. So once I can graft onto this one, I'll graft that onto this plant. <laughs> I think that's how we do it. And then we'll have the death flower too, and we'll finish our aspiration. So that all works very nicely. Um, Come and clean the cow and feed him. And I think it's a her actually, my bad. Um, Yeah, we're gonna have all three birthdays in one go. I furnished an apartment for her and I furnished a vet clinic for her as well. And I'm super excited for you guys to see them because they're really cute and they're super green and I just, I love it so much. Um, but yeah, I've just kind of had everybody do things that, like get their needs up. We've um, done a bunch of stuff around the house today as well with all the chores and everything. Um, and I think I'm going to have Daisy once she's finished over there. I think she's going to come and make him a birthday cake. Um, and then we're going to age him up tonight. And actually, I was thinking of doing a, um, like a barbecue kind of a thing. So I might buy a barbecue and a little outside table for them because I think that would be super cute. Um, can we even do just a regular birthday cake? Yes, we can. Okay, so we're going to do a birthday cake. Oh, I also furnished the house quite a bit and I... Hello? Why can't I turn the lights on? Um, I don't think I've shown everybody yet. So out here I put a fire pit, which we used and started a fire with, so that was great. Um, I added a like diving board to there. Um, we added a fish tank and the um, parenthood board right there, so they have a curfew. Over here I just put a planter box. I couldn't think of anything else for that area. Um, I did up the entryway and added this little cute, cozy little reading nook. It looks so cute. I actually love it. Um, and I just moved some stuff around over here. I was going to adopt another cat, which I haven't done. Um, I furnished the office a little bit more. I just placed some decorations. Oh, last recess. No one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? I think you should ask kids if you can. Um, so I just furnished this a little bit. Um, I don't think I did anything upstairs. 
no, I didn't. That was all. Um, and you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and buy a little barbecue area out here. I added a little seating area already. But let's do it like a barbecue tonight. Maybe invite a couple of people over. Okay, so I just added a little um, table with an umbrella and a barbecue over here. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, have a little barbecue party later. Um, maybe I'll invite some people over. I don't know why this canceled out or why my game just decided to get super laggy. Um, let's do that and then let's throw a little birthday party. Birthday party, there we go. Birthday Sim, Tanner. I'm so sad, I don't want Tanner and Daisy to die. Like, that's so depressing. We don't really have many friends, do we? Kyle aged up into a child, though. Love that. Um, we're gonna have it at our house. Uh, let's have it at 3 p.m. There we go. So she's just gonna make a cake. And maybe we should have him. Ooh, honey grit. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna do grilled tofu with honey glazed carrot platter. Do that, do that. And Ivy just reached level seven of the gaming skills. She's actually such a good little gamer. Look at her room. I love her room so much. It's so green. I'm like actually obsessed. Um, everybody's just gotta deal with their needs for a bit. I'm too busy being excited. Well, I'm not excited, because I'm not excited that Tanner's aging up. Yeah, like, super unexcited that Tanner's aging up. Um, I don't know if you can hear it. I have to shut my cat in the other room, because he was fighting with the other cat really badly, and now he's, like, meowing in the other room, because he doesn't want to be out there, or in there. <laughs> They've been fighting all morning. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're just, we don't really, oh, did I delete the door? That's kind of, no, it's just, there. And maybe we should move the little music thing outside onto this table so that we can listen to music while we're having little birthday dinners. I need to put something here, but I was thinking maybe a bar in all honesty, but then I don't want them to be like drinking all the freaking time because that's just so incredibly annoying. No, did you? Okay, thank God. I was like, I don't want to have to like make it again because I don't know if we still have all the ingredients because it needed a lot of stuff. Um, oh, perfect. Oh, I thought she just took a slice of cake. I'm really sorry. I don't know why my game is just being super laggy right now. I think it's just because I've been in and out of um, build and buy mode. Um, I know that's the thing that happens. Um, gold, why don't you, because you love to do this, why don't you, oh, you can't set those tables. Interesting, okay. Well, I'm gonna lock this door for everyone but household members and we're gonna lock this door for everyone but household members so that people can't go in the house they have to stay outside there we go so everyone will just have to stay outside today holy crap look at that oh my god look at that oh jesus christ Oh my god, look at that feast he's served. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna have to go let my cat out of that room because I don't know how much you can hear the scratching, but... <laughs> oh my god, okay, one second, I'm gonna let my cat out of the room. Okay, I am back. So we've put backyard music on outside. Um, the cake and the tofu are both out here. And the cat is now happy. Mr. Bubbo is his name. He is happier and be lining to go with his sister again. Um, okay, so birthday party is about to begin. Let's go ahead and start her up. Everybody change into nice stuff. Everybody come out here. Um, why does it look like you can't see her eyebrows from here? Um, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna just start, like form a group um, for now. 
Oh, what was that demand independence? Let's do that. Oh, oh, it's a mean one. I kind of want to see what that's like though. So I think we're still going to have her do it. <laughs> I'm just going to make everybody come out here. Um, oh, there's a fox. All the foxes are like old now, so we don't really get much trouble from them. What are these two? I want to see this interaction. I want to see what happens. Are you not doing it? I want to know how this happens. I want to know what this is. Where is it? Okay, mean. Demand independence. I want to see what this interaction looks like. Because she's like, Mom, like, stop being such a helicopter parent. Literally, stop being such a helicopter parent. Oh, and then you know what? I'm going to have Daisy um, go and, like, ground her from playing um like video games um punish ground for being mean and then she's in a yeah, mood because she can't play video games and she loves playing video games she's entered a couple of tournaments i think she's won a couple um so that's good you gonna ground her there you go oh no computer no computer! No. She's like, Mom, but I love yeah. video games! <laughs> okay, so those two are... <gasps> no! Somebody come and tell this cat off! Ivy, tell your cat to stop eating human food! Oh my god. Why is this so tedious? Okay, let's see if we can form a group. Oh my god. I just want to form a group so that everybody, like, does the same thing. Okay, go here together. And then, can we, like, tell the cat off? Like, let's pet the cat to try and, like, get him to come off. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I think we're gonna call everybody to meal. And we'll get everybody to sit down and eat some food. And I feel like everybody's gonna go inside to eat because they actually hate me. Um, but let's see. Okay, so everybody's gathered. Everybody's gonna grab something to eat. I'm so jealous. That looks so incredibly good. Grab a serving. You got one. You're gonna get one. You're grabbing one. You're grabbing one. Okay, everybody's grabbing them. Nice. Everybody's. Marigold, where are you going? Marigold, no! I knew I, I told you they were gonna go outside. He's gonna sit in the pool and eat his, which I mean, like, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, nice, was that everybody? Now there's no more servings? Nice, I love it when that happens. Oh, how fun is this? How cute is this? Come and sit out here. Don't sit in there by yourself. Okay, you don't need to worry about cleaning up the plates. It's honestly not that big a deal. Um, but you can blow out the candles though. Oh my god, everybody's going to frickin... Everybody's gonna... Ah! Sims, just stop. Okay, come in, make a wish. And then he's gonna blow out the candles. And Tanner is not gonna be an adult anymore. He's gonna be an elder and he's gonna be all weird and wrinkly and gross. Oh, look at his little family. And there we go. Just like that, Tanner is no longer an adult, but an elder. Maybe in a second here. Oh, Tanner aged up, seniority, wrinkled bellies, frosty locks, and interminable naps awake. Pretty like the Reapers are not right around the corner. Oh, no, I'm so sad. Let's see an MC Command Center, uh, how many days he has. He only has 11 days left. Oh my god. It's, he's gonna die right after her birthday! 
Oh, her kids aren't even gonna get to like, oh my God, her kids aren't even gonna get to like, meet their grandparents. That's so sad. Like they might meet Daisy, but like probably not. Cause if she ages up then, she probably will die. Oh no, Daisy might die. Oh no, Daisy could die on Harvest Fest. I mean, maybe, but I don't think we're gonna have a kid in a week, you know? Like she's gotta buy a vet clinic. She's not gonna be able to afford to have a kid that early. Oh no! Oh my god, that animal is just pooping in our yard. That's delightful, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay, you need to go to the bathroom, so go use the bathroom. Then why don't you come and have everybody, like, dance together? Rather than being on your computer. She's on her computer! She's grounded! No, you need to come and tell your daughter off. Be like, I literally just grounded you, like, three hours ago um what are you doing so this was supposed to be an episode all about tanner aging up and instead it's turned into daisy and ivy the battle of the generations like this is great this is awesome i think he looks like he's also just naked sitting on the toilet completely naked okay so she's gonna like give it to her daughter right now I just grounded you. What are you doing on your computer? You have been reprimanded again now. So is there like... They're going to hate each other by the end of this. Yell at for breaking grounding. Oh, these two are going to hate each other. Okay, well, it got responsibility up and it doesn't look like they it affected their relationship too badly. So I'll take it. I will take it. You know what? Take what you can get, right? Um, let's have everybody come and dance together. I feel like that could be fun. Oh, look at him. I'm going to have to CC him up and make him all old. And I really don't want to because look how hot he is. Uh, look at her man. I'm so sad. I don't want them to die. I'm literally not ready for it. I'm so upset. I hate that. I hate that so much. Let's have these guys slow dance together. Is it a romantic option or is it like so dance together with Tanner? Where are you going to slow dance? What are you doing? You're gonna slow dance all the way out here. Okay, that's interesting. You know what? That okay. Well, why don't you clean the sink? Because I know that will make your mom happy if the sink is clean, so you could do that. And I think I just need to get everybody ready for bed because we have school tomorrow. Um, oh my God, everything's like gross. And take a shower. Uh, what are you doing? You can take a shower too. What are you doing? You're playing on the computer and your needs are pretty good. So that's okay. Uh, did you clean that toilet? And what about you? Why don't you watch a movie with your, with your daughter? Because she's really given it to her mom. <laughs> Why don't they watch a movie together? I like that idea. Cause they're like, she's older. She can stay up a bit later than these guys. These guys have to go to bed earlier. Um, you're still kind of hungry. So maybe, I don't know, eat the food you were supposed to eat earlier. And what are you doing, Daisy? Can you go and just like feed the cow plant before bed? I think that's the call. Buy a flower? What? That was so random. I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand what that was about, but okay. And then maybe she could just suddenly come and like watch the movie with them and be like, nah, I don't want to be mad at each other. Did everybody do their homework? You're just doing yours right now, or are you doing extra credit work? Look at that little brainiac. He's so cute. I'm so glad we had added him to our family. Plus, like, now they have a son, and it's like, because, like, 
If Andrea still existed, they would have ended up with three girls. So I think it's kind of nice that they have... Oh, yeah, there was a fire. <laughs> there was a fire. And <laughs> everybody still really cared about it. <laughs> it was Daisy's fault. She... I don't know what she did, but... One of the, the chair that Salvatore was sitting in caught fire, and it was the whole thing. And I thought Salvatore was gonna die, and I was gonna have to explain to you guys what happened, um, which would have been awkward potentially. <laughs> um, once you're done eating, though, you actually do need to go to bed because it's getting kind of late. Um, oh my god, our house is falling apart. Our house is gross. Okay, you repair that, and then she can clean this. Um, and after your movie, you need to go to bed. And after you're done with that, you should just go to bed. Perfect. There we go. Everybody's got their stuff lined up. Um, I don't... Do we have just a party here at home for these guys? Or do we spice it up, maybe? And go on, like, a little vacation or something. Like, uh, maybe do, like, a little vacation trip I don't know I kind of feel like maybe just at home I'm gonna get like um Ivy to make a ton of friends between now and Wednesday um and then we'll just invite like all of her friends over I think um same with the other two we'll just invite like a bunch of kids and stuff over um and hope for the best although i don't know how we're gonna do that but we'll see we'll see we'll see um so everybody should be like working on going to bed um i was gonna say let's have those guys woohoo but you know what no thank you and i'm also gonna cc um oh my god CC our man Tanner up here. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, I totally forgot to hit um, record to start the recording again. <laughs> and I started the party and everything. So here we are, we're just having the party. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Everybody's just eating and enjoying themselves. We've got music playing. I think I'm gonna have everybody. Um, come over here and like slide on this thing and then i think we're gonna start blowing out some birthday candles um uh, yeah let's do it <laughs> whenever she's finished eating oh ivy got a tan she was sunbathing for a really long time she got a nice little tan going Oh, she just walked away from me. That's fine. So today it is Marigold, Salvatore's, and Daisy's birthday. So the two kids are turning into preteens, and Daisy is becoming an elder, which is so upsetting. Oh, I'm so sad. Okay, Daisy, you gotta be the one. Slide with? How many people can you slide with? <gasps> Tons of people, nice. Okay, do it. Everybody's gonna slide together. Did I put it the wrong way? I think so, I definitely did, didn't I? That's fine. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, nice, Daisy. <gasps> the classic. Oh, and um, she's pregnant. Bess. I, th I don't know who's coming next. Tanner! Oh my god, Tanner! Oh, and this is Tanner aged up too. This is what Tanner looks like as an elder. I just made his hair gray and like changed a couple of his outfits to be a little bit more age appropriate. Ivy, look at her go. The cow plant beside me. I want to see the kids. Oh, here we go. Here's Salvatore. Oh, oh no, and Marigold right behind him. Oh, that's so fun. I love that. That's so cute. Okay, well, I think we're done eating. So I did invite a bunch of kids to this, but nobody showed up, which was super rude. <laughs> I'm just gonna put these in the fridge and then we're gonna, um, 
do the birthday cake. Yeah, okay, we just have to check his bladder because he always has to go to the bathroom. Um, she has to go to the bathroom, ironically. Um, okay, let's see here. So um, we'll, we'll age up Marigold first. Um, so we'll just get everybody to stop this interaction. We'll have everybody come here. And then we'll have her... Oh, she can't blow out the candles. Okay, now she can. So blow out candles. Everybody's covered in soap. Oh my god. Who did I say was blowing out the candles? Okay, here she goes. She ate stuff. Oh my god. There goes Marigold. So she's a preteen now. Okay, so she has the adventurous trait and dance machine. Um, what if we do like a location one? I can see her going to like Salvatore. Is that a... Oh, maybe this one. Archaeology scholar, there we go. Let's have her do that. I love that little storyline for her. Um, let's get Daisy to add birthday candles to this quickly so no one grabs a bite of the cake. Okay, perfect. And then now it's Salvatore's turn to um, blow up his candles. Oh, she needs, we, we've got to CC a bunch of people up. Oh, they're hugging. Okay. No, your brother's aging up. Okay, so now it's Salvador's turn. <laughs> Everybody's covered in soap. I can't. Okay, add birthday candles again. Uh, so he was a glut uh, glutton. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to make him... Materialistic, okay, sure. Um, mansion Baron, there we go. Add birthday candles so nobody takes a slice of cake. Okay, and then last but not least, Daisy's turn. Nobody celebrated for her. Oh, poor Daisy. Oh, there we go. Now they are. Oh my gosh, she's an elder. Oh my god. I can't believe she's an elder. Let's have everyone dance together because I want to finish this out. That's so crazy, you guys. Daisy and Tanner are both elders. Oh, and we totally finished everything. She completed her aspiration. Like, Daisy is done. Like, we've done absolutely everything for this challenge, um, which is amazing. I love that. Oh, I'm so happy. That's awesome, you guys. We're finally finished. I think I'm going to, like, play through off camera the week until it gets to her birthday. Uh, oh, I turned aging off. That's why I hold on. I was like, oh, what the heck? Okay, there we go. Um, let's see. So her birthday is over here. Oh my God, she's gonna die the day after her birthday. Oh my God. Oh my God, they're not even gonna be young adults yet. She's gonna die before they become young adults. Oh my God. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. Oh my god, you guys, that's so sad. Her mom's literally gonna die like the day after her um, birthday. And she's gonna have to look after, oh my god, what about the, oh my god, what about the kids? Oh, I didn't even think about that. What about, what happens with the kids? They can't stay in the house by themselves. Oh no, you guys, that's a slight problem. 
maybe we'll have to just delay her death until the kids age up because I don't want to leave them with like no mom. Like they can live in this house. That's fine. They can have the house. Ivy's going to move out, but I don't want them to be like all by themselves. That's super upsetting. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and CC everybody up, um, and I will show you guys the results in a minute. Alrighty, you guys. So I just wanted to show off everybody and how they look. So this is Salvatore. Um, here are some of his outfits. I'm going to be honest, I didn't put a whole lot of effort in to him, which is really bad, but... I think he's a really cute looking sim. I'm excited to kind of see what happens with his life moving forward. So that's Salvatore. Okay, Marigold is an absolute smoke show. Like, look how pretty this woman is. Look at her. So she's got two outfits, a yellow dress and homage to her mom. And then this one right here, cause it is summertime. Like, look how pretty she is. Like, kill me. Um, here's her formal wear, her athletic wear, her sleepwear, um, her party outfit, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. And then last but not least, Daisy, or Generation 1, or like Legacy Girl. Oh, so she looks old now. I kept this outfit. I thought she could still wear that as an elder. I kept this outfit too. I thought that was okay. Um, and then I give her this one. It's with the cottage living pack. I kind of wanted to use it. And I think I use it twice actually. Here's her formal outfit, her new athletic outfit, but she won't be working out too much nowadays. Um, her sleepwear, I <laughs> stole this one, but also this one. I thought it was funny. I wanted to do it. <laughs> her party wear is the same as one of her um, everyday looks. Here's her swimwear. Um, her hot weather wear and her cold weather wear is still the same as well. And oh my god, I can't believe she's an elder. What are we gonna do when she dies, you guys? Like, that's gonna be so sad. Ah, oh, that's so upsetting. Maybe we'll just... Oh, that's so upsetting. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Um, okay, so you know what I think I'm going to do, you guys? I think I'm going to go into my, um, I know they, oh, here, I know they both have, like, loads of points saved up, so I think I'm going to go ahead and see if I can buy that, like, um, potion of youth. Is that going to turn her into an adult? Let's try it. Um, and then I might get one for him, too. But let's see what happens when she drinks it first, actually. Because if it's going to turn her into an adult, I don't really want that to happen. So drink your drink. Oh my god, look at Mara. Like, oh my god, she's so pretty. Look at her! Oh, she's sick, apparently. Okay, drink your drink. Let's see if this, like, turns back time or not. Because... Cause I don't want them to die until after. Yeah, I don't want them to die like before the before Marigold and Salvatore age up because like I might just honestly like cheat them a little bit and like not let them age up um, until afterwards because yeah I just I don't need that happening. Maybe we'll throw a birthday party at Ivy's new place or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out in, in like a week. But I think because so far what I filmed hasn't been super long and I kind of want to like close out Daisy's part and start Ivy's part anyways, I think I might just play through um, the next few days because like nothing's really going to happen. It's going to be the same stuff every day, like going to work and school and caring for the house and stuff like that. Um, so I think I might play through until her birthday. Who knows? Maybe I'll just end this part here. I haven't decided yet, but I may just play through to this one and then pick back up on her birthday and we can close out generation one for good. Um, cause Daisy has now finished everything. So I feel like this is a good episode to just like also, um, age up, um, Ivy, you know, I'm just feeling like that. Um, so I will maybe see you guys in a minute, maybe see you in the next video. I don't know what future me is going to do, so I will see you guys later. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, I was just like playing through the days until Ivy's birthday and Tanner decided to go for a late night swim and he's dying. 
He's literally dying. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. I can't believe this just happened. He's like just drowning in the pool. Oh, she's not even sad about it. Nobody's even sad about it. Oh, she is, and he is. Oh my god, I can't believe he just died. Oh my god. And it's pouring rain, it's thunder. Oh my god. Okay, Ivy, you've got some stuff going on. Um, I think she had some stuff for her. We'll just give her these tampons. Um, she needs to use a tampon. <laughs> um, use a tampon and get some water. And you guys, you just need to go to bed. Oh my god, that's so upsetting. I can't believe he just died. Oh no, don't, like, you need to stay out here with him. Oh, okay, here he is. So this guy is gonna, like, deal with the body. Oh my god. <gasps> and there's lightning. Oh my god, I literally can't believe he died. That's actually heartbreaking. Oh my god, what is she gonna do without Tanner? They've been together for, like, literally most of her life. Oh, she's like not even sad about it though. Like she's literally not even sad about it. Come outside and see that your husband just died. Oh my god, he's taking a photo. And holding clay, oh my god. Did he get electrocuted? Is that why he died? Yeah, I think he died because he got struck. He, he died because he got struck by lightning. Oh my god, this is horrible. I can't believe this just happened. Oh my god. Okay, you need to go. You need to go to bed. Even, like, I don't know why, but none of their energy needs are going down, which is weird. But just go to bed. And I hope this guy, like, figures out what to do with the body. And it's literally Ivy's birthday tomorrow. Her entire birthday is, like, gonna be ruined by the fact that her dad just literally died. Are they gonna do anything? He's in a good mood. He's dying. He's in a good mood. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Tanner is dying from having been struck by lightning too many times. Every Sim deserves a proper funeral. Would you like to pay respects to Tanner Flanagan's death and be the executor of his funeral? Oh my god, so it's interesting that they asked Ivy to do this and not Daisy. I mean, like, Daisy's really old. Like, she's probably, well, she wasn't heartbroken then, but she is now that it's registered that she's actually dying. Um, so yeah, let's, um, let's have Ivy be the executor of the funeral. Oh, choose an executive. Select a sim who will have the responsibility to plan and host Tanner Flanagan's funeral and memorial service. I think that we're gonna have it as Ivy because I just, Daisy's really old and I think that's just too much for her. So we're just gonna have Ivy do it. Um, <gasps> no, no, he's been struck by lightning. Oh my God. Oh my God, nobody is allowed outside. Nobody is allowed outside. And I was going to do this big thing for her birthday. And I was going to have her move out. And now I feel really bad having her move out because her dad just died. But, like, I want to start her life in the city. Oh, my God. No. Okay, well, you know what? Let's have everybody. She doesn't have a journal. And I'm not going to have her jog to clear her mind. Um, okay, let's buy a little stereo and we'll do like wind down to classical music because I need to get her. Oh, actually, why don't I just... Does the book, like the little journal, give you the emotional control? Because that's the only one that she still needs to like work on. Let's see, is there a green one? 
yeah, do that. Express melancholy thoughts. All of you guys need to do that. All of you need to just write in your journals. Oh, Daisy's gonna be so, oh my God. That's so heartbreaking. Oh, and the cow plant died. And honestly, at this point, I'm just over it. So we're not replanting a cow plant. She's going to die soon anyways. And we're moving out of the household. And you know what? We're actually not on Daisy's generation anymore anyways. We're on, well, this is the last part of Daisy's generation because we finished everything. So, oh, that's so sad. I feel so bad for her. Oh, my God. Let's have everybody take a vacation day. Nobody needs to go to school today. Take a vacation day. Take a vacation day. Take a vacation day. Oh, oh my God, I'm actually so upset. That's so upsetting. Poor them. Let's see how close we are to getting her emotional control into the range we need it. Okay, so she should, she's about to hit it. She should hit it now. So as long as we don't do anything throughout the day to affect it, then... Oh, Daisy's like crying in bed. She's like, no, I don't. Hey babe, what have a like weird session? No, Tanner, you're dead, you're a ghost. No. Oh. Oh, I feel so bad. I think Ivy would like go to her mom and be like, I'm so sorry, mom. Like, I think I just went past it. <laughs> I think that she would definitely reminisce about the departed. I also think that she would try and, oh my God, and it's Ivy's birthday. This is so sad that this is like happening on her birthday. Um. There was one for console about death. Console about death. Give her a hug. Oh, discuss her sad mood. Oh, I feel so bad for them. I really do. But hey, at least there's no thunder today. <laughs> Oh, I feel, oh, that's so horrible. That's so dramatic. I love it. But the drama is just nonstop in this playthrough, apparently. He wasn't supposed to die yet. Oh my God, and you know what I was going to have him do? I was going to have him make like, a wedding bouquet for whenever Ivy gets married. Because he like kind of figured that, well, actually, it doesn't matter because Ivy was never going to get married. Um, that's part of her thing. Um, but, oh, my God. Come and clean out the coop. Collect eggs. Scatter some feed nearby. Oh. This is heartbreaking. I can't believe he just died. Oh. <laughs> it's actually so sad. She's gonna come out here and tend the garden because I know that that'll make her feel a little bit better. And then also Marigold's been really into yoga lately, like, um, like her mom. So I'm gonna have her come and do some yoga. And oh, I think I'm gonna have, once she's done with this, I'm gonna have her um, just play with her cat. Nobody else gets struck by lightning. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Stay inside, everybody. We don't want anyone being struck by lightning. Let's, like, get her to come inside and, like, give some attention to her cat because I feel like her cat would, like, cheer her up a little bit, you know? And I was going to have like a big birthday party for her, but I don't think we're going to do that anymore because it just, it doesn't really seem right, you know, like her dad just died. I don't think anybody would really be in the mood for, for like a big party. I just feel like it's not a good time. So let's like just talk to your cat, comforting hug, try to like cheer yourself up with Gus. 
And I feel really bad about like make. Oh, and we have to pay our bills. Oh my god. Can you pay the bills? Yeah, come over here and pay the bills. Marigold's like not even in a bad mood about it. Well, the cat like just dipped. This is so sad. Everybody's gonna be in such a sad mood for her birthday. Oh my God. He could not have picked a worse time to die. Can I just say, like literally could not have picked a worse time to just up and die. Ivy's getting the single and loving it. Um, lifestyle, actually kind of love that for her. Um, she's like not really the marriage type anyways. So I do kind of like dig that for her. And she's just tending to her at the garden. Oh, bless you, Daisy. Oh, this is so sad. I know it's like a not even a real character, but it's still so sad. Is this getting your emotional control up? Because we just need to get that up. And then what about manners? Uh, we can have you set the table afterwards. Uh, set the table, is there like a green one? No, of course there's not, so do yellow. Okay, so Ivy's um, in the range to get the emotional control trait. <sighs> She's still going, how much more is there to harvest? We have a lot of crops to be fair. <laughs> Okay, and she's oh okay, and she's gonna get the good manners trait. Perfect. So Daisy's just making a lemon and blueberry cake, and then we'll put some candles on top, and then I feel so bad like moving her out today, but like I, it's time, you know. It is time that we move on from like the Daisy generation, and we we focus on ourselves. So I'm going to see what I can grab out of her room. Um, definitely this laptop we will be taking because this is our laptop. Um, let's take our green light as well. Can we put the green light in our inventory or is that a no-go? Go in the inventory! Is there, okay. And the laptop in the inventory too. And then, oh, we can put this in our inventory. Whatever, I don't care. Um, oh wait, don't eat the cake, don't eat the cake, don't eat the cake, oh. Okay, put some birthday candles on here. And then we're gonna age up Ivy, oh my God. I'm so sad. Okay, everybody come over here. Um, you come over here, um, you just stand right here, and then Ivy, you just come on over, and you're gonna make a wish and blow out your candles. Oh my god! I can't believe it. I can't believe it. No, wait, wait, Daisy, don't go upstairs and cry yet. Okay, so here she- oh god. Here she goes. Oh. oh, and just like that, she's a young adult. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so, that's so sad. I can't believe that he died on her birthday. I'm just looking up the, um, her other trait because I'm useless and can never seem to remember. Um, and unflirty. Oops, unflirty, there we go. Oh, oh my God, I can't believe it. This is so sad. Okay, well, you know what? I um, I think it's time we're gonna move her out. Um, I feel really bad because everybody's like super sad about the death and everything. Is there like maybe a cute photo um, that we can give her? of like her mom and dad or something for her apartment. So like she has something of theirs. What's this one? Oh yeah, okay. We're definitely gonna give her this photo. 
Um, and then let's see, what are these? These are small ones. We can give her one of these too. And then what about this one? That was when she was pregnant with um, Ivy. So we'll give her that one. And oh, let's give her her birth certificate. I don't know. I don't know which one it is. Oh. I wait, there's someone else dying on the lot. I had this glitch earlier where like something dies and then I'm perpetually stuck not being able to go into build mode or anything because of it. Oh, that's so annoying. I'm not going to be able to. Okay, well, let's just have everybody like eat some cake and then let's see if maybe after that I can get. I can get into cast to kind of um, change her appearance a little bit and then we'll move her out and hopefully it doesn't do this freaking glitch. Okay, so I'm finally able to <laughs> like split from household and move. So I think she is going to come here. She's gonna give her brother a hug. She's gonna give everybody in the household a, uh, a hug. Um, and then we're gonna have her move out into the apartment. Um, and I think that, um, I think that I, or Daisy would give her, like, look how much money they have, like, <sighs> Daisy's not gonna need it for much longer, and like, maybe I'll just, um, kind of divide this by three, and I don't know, cause, I kind of want there to be some kind of challenge, you know, for Ivy, but she is going to have to, um, she is going to have to buy a vet clinic and the vet clinic that I like built and edited was about, oh my gosh, I have the hiccups, I'm sorry, um, was like just over 40,000 simoleons. So she's going to need quite a bit of money. Um, and then I have this cute interaction where she can ask, um, Daisy, oh, mourning an animal too, oh. And then I think she's gonna ask Daisy, like, a little bit about her dad, like, how did you guys meet? How did you guys start dating? Like, um, ask how parents met each other. Let's see how, let's ask her how, like, they met each other and just be like, I'm sorry I'm leaving mom, but, like, we always knew I was going to move out, and this doesn't really change it, and I'm so sorry. Um, at work. They met at work. Aww. Tell me more. And um, we it was love at first sight. It definitely was. And that kid is the true story of how I met your aunt. No, it was dad, but okay. And then let's just have her go and give a hug to her sister as well. And I'm officially going to be moving her out. Oh, I can't like, oh, it's so sad. It's so sad that like this should be such a like super fun and exciting time in her life. And instead it's like really sad because she lost her dad and she's going to be taking Gus with her. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's it. Split from household and move. Oh, I can't believe it. So here we go, you guys. She's going to move from the household. So it's just going to be her and Gus. And I think I'm going to send her with 40,000. Um, no, because that's not technically... What is that split three ways? So it's 30, let's just go with 38,000. That's how much she's gonna be getting. And then there's 38,000 left over for the other two. Oh, I can't believe she's moving out. We're gonna have to keep an eye on Daisy and see when she dies. Cause like, I don't want her to die while we're not there. Um, it also means that we're going to miss both Salvatore and, um, Marigold's birthdays for when they turn up into adults, but I don't know, maybe we can throw like a little party for them. 
So we're moving into the city and I furnished an apartment in here. As you can see, it's all green. It has the TLC, needs TLC lot tree. Um, it's a very small apartment. Um, so let's go, let's see. Let's move into our new house. So here we go. This is day or sorry, this is Ivy's new Ivy and Gus's new place. So you walk in the door and there's the kitchen right here. We have a bathroom right in here, very green. Um, we've got a living room, a dining table, a place for her debt or her computer. So let's put the laptop on there and maybe the green light as well. Um, and then we need to put the cat bed, um, maybe not right there because that's gonna cause issues trying to get to the pipe. So maybe we put, um, the cat bed beside her bed. I believe, yeah, I already put in a litter box and a food thing. Um, so yeah, you guys, this is Daisy's new apartment super cute i love it so much it's very in your face green um let's come over here and fill this <sighs> i can't believe it and then what um yeah oh my god i can't believe that he just died that's so crazy. Okay, so I just pulled up the Sims and Bloom challenge and we're just gonna read through generation two. So generation two is Buttercup and it's yellow and green. From a young age, you've always loved animals of all kinds. You spent your entire, your childhood playing in your parents' garden, fascinated by the wildlife all around you. As a teen, you were gifted a laptop for your birthday and you spent most of your time attached to it, competing in video game tournaments. Your love for animals persisted, however, and you used the money won from video game tournaments to start your own vet clinic. Romance and marriage are things you never saw in your future, but you would still like to raise a child with love and care like you were. So we've got the friend of the animals. We've already started that. We've got all of her traits. Um, she's not a vet yet. Um, I think last time I checked, she was like level eight of the video gaming skills. We do need to start... Um, we do need to start programming. I've already done this video game tournament at least once a week from when you were a, t a teen. Pretty much every time she needed fun up, I had her, her um, compete in a video game tournament. Um, earn money by owning and running a vet clinic. Always own at least two cats. Never get into a relationship or marriage. You can attempt to date for fun, but they never work out. Adopt at least one child. And optional is complete the feather collection and gain the techie lifestyle. So, I think maybe we have her join the, like, tech guru career because you do programming and gaming through that. So, I think we should set her up with that. So, let's find a job and we'll set her up in that. And then I'm just going to go into Cass and give her a little bit of a makeover. I feel like, you know she's just lost her dad and she's moved out um, and she's kind of like on her own for the first time. I feel like she would kind of switch up her look a little bit. Um, so yeah, this one, tech girl. girl. So I think we're just going to join this one for the time being. Um, and let's actually see what her skills are like. Um, video gaming is level eight, so that's really good. Um, also, I believe, so she got the responsible trait, good manners, mediator, emotional control, and compassionate, and she would be happy to be pregnant. So I wonder, is she allowed to, like, get pregnant via somebody, or does she, is she only able to adopt? Adopt at least one child. So technically she could, um, she could have her own kids, but for the next generation, you go with the adopted child as the, um, you go with the adopted child. So maybe we'll just, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe we'll just have one kid because, you know, last generation we had three and that was quite a lot. So we'll, we'll see. 
Um, so she just joined that career. I'm going to give her a little makeover and cast and then I'll show you guys. And then I think we're going to end this part here. But we're officially on to Generation 2 now, which is so crazy. I'm, I'm so excited to play with Ivy and see what happens with her. And I'm also super interested to see what Marigold and Salvatore do with their lives. I hope like at least one of them stays in the house. I'll keep an eye on that and make sure that at least one of them stays in the house so that that house is always in the family. Um, but yeah, I'll, um, I'll check back in in a minute once I've given Ivy a little, um, oh shoot. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys. So I didn't really change too much. I just changed her hair. I like it up in this bun. I think it looks super cute. Um, also, I definitely, now that we have pronouns, I definitely want to add those. Um, and I believe that um, Ivy would go by she, her. Um, I feel like that's how she would, um, would be want to be represented. Um, so here's her second outfit. I put in a pop of yellow and then her third outfit. Um, I think she looks super cute. I didn't really change any of these other than the sleepwear. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. I literally just changed her hair. Um, so yeah, I like her. She's super cute and I'm super excited to go on like this next part of the journey and start this new generation and, and play with Ivy and see where life takes Ivy. But with that, you guys, I think I'm going to end this part here. Um, we're officially done with our generation one and we are now in generation two, which is crazy to say. I'm so excited. Um, and I hope everybody's still enjoying the series as much as I am. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for um, if you're if you are still enjoying the series and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>